All right, welcome to my backyard. This is part of my series on culturing Daphnia, where I just show you where these things pop up and explain a little bit why they're there. So this is a... You are behind my storage shed right now, outside of my garage. Look at that big old slug right there. Anyway, you're uh, behind... Uh, a shed in my garage and I used to have three cultures like this here I moved two of them away they kind of became my main cultures but being that I took them down I left this one here and that was over a year ago and I forgot about this darn thing so this has been sitting here for over a year pretty much unattended I don't know if I've ever done anything with it I might fill it with water every once in a while but I can't tell you the last time I even did that. Um, and you can see it's full of Daphnia. Here, they'll come over to the light here. All right, so again, this is just a laundry tub that has just been sitting here for uh, over a year. And if you're asking, oh, how does this thing eat, you know? what? Where do, how do these Daphnia get some uh, nutrition and it's just the stuff that falls in it it decays and the Daphne aren't consuming it but they'll consume the flora and fauna that consume this debris you see in here don't normally like getting pine needles in it but again this was just abandoned I guess by the owner um, so and other things that uh, these Daphnia eat is this is very organic rich I can just tell by the color of the water so um, there's really a, a biome in there now that the Daphnia uh, eat out of if that makes sense you know the, the, the flora and fauna that are naturally occurring in here these Daphnia that's what they're consuming and then bugs a lot of bugs um, and you've probably never heard of people feeding their Daphnia bugs, but you know that the bug will release its nutrients into the water. Daphnia can consume what they want out of it. And the thing that the flora and fauna then that will consume that bug, the Daphnia will also consume. So there's quite a few Daphnia in there. So I am cleaning my yard. That's why I ran into this thing. So I am going to drain it and harvest these Daphnia and mosquito larvae and feed them to my fish. So it's a laundry tub it's sitting behind my shed outside. And it's been sitting here for a year unattended, just being filled with rainwater through the winter. I'm sure I must have topped it off last summer, but don't remember. So there you go. Daphnia culture in my yard that shouldn't be here anymore. 